Hi, I'm Alistair Kroll, Content Chair of Cloud Connect, the upcoming conference on cloud computing happening here in Santa Clara, California this March. I want to talk to you about the new role that IT is taking in cloud computing as the IT industry changes dramatically in the face of on-demand turnkey computing resources. Now, you might think early on that most IT people are out of a job because the promise of cloud computing is that it just magically happens somewhere else. That's absolutely not true. The reality of cloud computing is that IT's role is changing significantly, but IT still has a lot of work to do. If you think about cloud environments, going forward, we're going to see some computing that's always on-premise. This may be because it's private, because it needs compliance with regulations, or because it needs to be stored in-house near where the data is collected and so on. You'll see some compu computation that can be done anywhere. Could be done in-house on on-premise infrastructure, or it could be done on a third-party cloud provider. And that's things like testing, training, prototyping. It's not mission critical. It, you may have enough capacity in-house to do it, but it may be opportunistic to move it into a shared environment. And then there are certain things that will always happen in the cloud environment. For example, access to web front ends by partners, proximity to content delivery networks, and so on. And between the can be done anywhere and the always in the cloud components, we're going to have a load or pricing engine, something that tries to decide whether it's better for a particular computing task to be done in the cloud or on-premise based on how busy those resources are and how much they cost. At the same time, you're going to have a policy engine that dictates what can be run externally and what must be run in-house in order to comply with laws. And IT's job will really be to move virtual machines or compute tasks between those three environments and to tune the policies and understand the load and the pricing to make sure that stuff works well. A second change is that now IT spends its time defining and managing services rather than defining and clicking and racking and stacking uh, equipment. What started out as, in Amazon's case, pay-by-the-drink storage, which was S3, computational processing, which was EC2, now includes a database, a simple DB, a content delivery network, CloudFront, computer-to-computer -computer messaging, the simple Q service, and most recently they've added web-scale data processing with Amazon MapReduce. Um, and this keeps on happening, and as a result, developers and IT operators become systems integrators. So we used to think inside this circle about building the components that powered these services. Now we're going to think outside this circle about talking to the APIs that allow us to build an application atop them. We're going to be talking about the changing role of IT in a cloud computing world and many other topics at Cloud Connect this March. And we really hope you can join us to further the discussion. Thanks.